okay. we're going to go with David in Austin. Okay. All right. Hi, David. Hey, how you doing? Good. Hi. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to ask you if, um, let me turn down the TV. Um, I just wanted to ask you if, if uh, your support of gay marriage is actually a stance of the ACA. Is, they, is it the ACA? Um, Austin, uh, ACA we, is the community of Austin? Y yes, it is. Yes. Uh, there's been some controversy on that. There was a discussion about making it an official stance, but I don't believe that was ever put into effect. Uh, yeah. There have been a lot of disagreements in the past, even among people who individuals who actually support gay marriage uh, kind of draw the line at having the ACA get involved with something that may not be their business. Yeah. Um, and then there are a lot of people who think that, like Jen said, there are no good secular arguments against gay marriage, and so the ACA should be perfectly confident in taking a stand for it. Uh, I, I wish I could answer your question better, but I don't think I know. Yeah, I okay. think I think the ACA has officially come out in support of, for example, the the gay pride celebration here in Austin. Right, sure, we have a all, presence but, there every year. But I don't know that we have an official position <coughs> on gay marriage. Okay, so this is more your personal argument. Well, this was, yeah, we brought this up in the context of the Proposition Eight and the Arkansas mm -hmm. gay marriage ban. Um, is a, a moral panic that's inspired primarily by people's religious beliefs. I will say that I know almost no atheists who are who are opposed to gay marriage, yeah. except for the reasons I said before, like they don't think there should be any marriage. Yeah. Yeah, which I think is a pretty valid argument on uh, some levels. Um, you know, I think government sanctioning marriage, it's really more about the legal breakup of the marriage than it is sanctioning their union. Well, it, I mean, there, sure. there are specific rights and responsibilities that come with marriage right. that you can't get with any other kind of relationship even if you you know you go to an attorney and you say okay drop these you know and the marriage license is something like thirty five dollars in texas and to go to an attorney and have paperwork drawn up to get even a fraction of those rights and responsibilities it'll cost you a lot more than thirty five dollars well, so, let me let me ask you what what is the advantage that, as you see it, that uh, a gay couple is wanting to attain by being sanctioned as married as opposed to just living together and doing everything with private contracts between the two parties, um, like as far as inheritance, you know, if one of them passes away and they have an inheritance or something, you can do that with yeah. a private contract. Um, what is the advantage they're trying to attain? by getting a marriage? Well, I mean, inheritance is one thing. I mean, if you are legally married and you die without a will, <coughs> your spouse, if, assuming you have no children, your spouse is, by default, your heir. So, so there's, there's that. There's, you know, the whole deal of who makes medical decisions for you. And, I mean, most people have some kind of medical power of attorney anyway. But, you know, your spouse is automatically allowed to have access to, for example, your hospital room if you're sick. Um, so those are things, and, and people have recognized these as basic civil rights and have put into law some, in some cases, you know, the ability of gay couples to do this for each other, even I, in I the absence that, of marriage. Uh, I, I but, think that more to the point is that uh, marriage is a, a host of legally understood uh, rights and sanctions mm -hmm. uh, that, that are extremely easy. And while you can go after each one of those individual rights with a lot of legal wrangling and a lot of legal ex and, and a lot of expenses, um, married couples just have that by default. Uh, and yeah. because I mainly think of marriage as a contract and not as a religious, uh, as a religious issue, I mean, to mm -hmm. me, the, the religion aspect of it is separate and their business. Uh, I, I don't see any good reason why the state should extend uh, these rights and sanctions and yet make gay couples jump through all these hoops when they're clearly in the same arrangement, regardless of their gender. Well, I think as, as 
far as the state is concerned, it's uh -huh. not a religious arrangement. It is a legal contract. And I agree with that. Right. It should be. So whenever I ask you what they're trying to attain, you didn't really answer specifically. What I'm, what I'm really trying to get at is do they want to adopt children as a married couple so they will be able to do it? Or is there, you know, as far as inheritance, people do wills. So even married people do wills normally. And you can have a living will if you're alive in a hospital and, you know, if you want somebody well, to come visit you, I think you could do that with your own personal will, a living will. But um, I'm just curious as to what the angle is because, to me, they're, they're wanting to get something. And I, I'm not sure if it's health benefits from their spouses or their partner's job or whether it's um, wanting to adopt children or exactly what they're trying to attain. About achieving a marriage. Okay. Actually, can I, if I can oh, turn yeah. this question around, yeah, are, are you married? Well, no, I'm not. I'm just okay. trying to understand what they're, because it seems well, to me what they're trying to do is they're trying to get some type of moral approval of their relationship. I don't the think government. that's, no. I, I think you're mistaken. Well, that's what yeah, the argument seems All to be, right. that they're wanting are, moral approval. Well, are, are you in favor of straight like marriage? marriage? I'm sorry? Are you in favor of straight marriage? Well, I'm in favor of people, you know, if they want to do that, sure. That's okay, why? Business. Well, yeah, why? Well, well, I think the primary purpose of marriage is to raise children. Oh, well, you know, I, I, think, I, I think mean, that's in that story. case, do you think that people who, that a person who is sterile should not be allowed to get married? Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say they shouldn't be allowed to get married. Okay, then why shouldn't a gay person be allowed to get married? Obviously, it has nothing to do with children. In, well, yeah. in no, in our society, society what, what marriage has become is more of a... a uh, a self-gratifying experience. No, than, it's, than not. Family, no it's not. It's not. Than a family-raising experience. I, I just explained a, a minute ago. Well, any time a gay couple gets married, you know there's no way they can naturally reproduce. Oh, okay. yes. oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, you, you know of two females that got each other pregnant or two males? No, but... Oh, but okay, you want to believe. Okay, I'm, I'm an atheist lesbian mother. I am... But so, your lesbian lover didn't get you pregnant. Uh, no, she didn't. Okay. But you know what? The same assisted reproductive technologies that are available to heterosexual couples are also available to us. And that's how we have our son. So, so she is the, the biological uh, spouse of your offspring? Well, she's the biological mother of my offspring. So y'all are both, I mean, bi biologically, y'all produce the child. Is that what you're telling me? Yes. Really? Well, we used donor insemination. Oh, so it's not. Well, I figured you I'm, took part of her genes and part of yours. That's not possible. Well, that's what I said. You can't even do it naturally, or you can't do it. Well, wait, 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 wait. wait. There are, are hundreds of thousands of infertile couples who turn to donor insemination. Well, we're not all the talking time. about that, though. Well, well are you fa in favor of that? Do you think I don't, that, I don't mind if you went and got inseminated. That's your own business. Well, do you, do you consider if heterosexual couples have to resort to donor insemination because the man is infertile, do you consider that to be unnatural? It's definitely unnatural because it's scientific. Well, so? Right. And is that and, a problem?